Hey everyone, welcome to how to find the inverse of a logarithmic function. This is Nicholas JMV. Okay, so this is video number two. We went from exponentials to logarithmic form. Now we're going to be going from logarithmic form to exponential form. And just remember that the inverse of a logarithm is an exponential. So here's the idea. We're thinking of f of x equaling log base 3 of x minus 2. And we really want that to be an exponential form. So we're going to start by writing f of x is equal to y. And then we're going to rewrite the right side of the equation. Okay, so now we switch x and y around. And we've got to resolve this equation for y. Okay, so y is on the inside here. So this is where we can apply that rule for the inverse. So the exponential is going to have the same base as the logarithm. Okay, so it's 3. Now the logarithm is always equal to the power on the exponential. So the logarithm here is equal to x. So that means the power here on the exponential is x. And then that's equal to what's left, y minus 2. So to solve for y, I add 2 to both sides. So I have y equals 3 to the x plus 2. And so in inverse notation, we have f inverse is equal to 3x plus 2. So that is the inverse of log base 3 of x minus 2. All right, our second example gets a little more tricky. Same idea, though. And the same idea applies of finding the inverses algebraically. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite my equation. It's really nice because I already have it in y equals. So 3 log base 2 of 1 plus 2x minus 5, and we want the inverse. So switch x and y. So x equals 3 log base 2 of 1 plus 2y minus 5. Now there's all this stuff here. We've got a minus 5 division 3. The idea is to get the log alone. So let's add 5 to both sides. Okay. Now the log is being multiplied by 3 still. Let's get rid of the 3. So we're going to divide each side by 3. So you have x plus 5 over 3 equals log base 2 of 1 plus 2y. So now once the log is by itself on one side, now we can rewrite this in exponential form. The base is 2. The logarithm's base is the same as the exponentials. The logarithm is always equal to what the, expo the, the exponent of the exponential. So this will be 2 to the x plus 5 over 3. And that's going to equal what's left, 1 plus 2y. We have two steps left here. We've got to go ahead and subtract 1. And so we're going to do that. So you have 2y equals 2 to the x plus 5 over 3 minus 1. And now divide everything by 2. So you have y equals 2 to the x plus 5 all over 3 minus 1. That whole thing divided by 2. And there is your inverse. So is this y equal? So I can just go ahead and do this. I'm going to put the inverse there. There's y inverse of x. Okay, last example here. Find the inverse. Ooh, we have natural log now. Natural log, remember, is simply is simply, we lost our focus there for a second. There we go. So we have y equals ln of x plus 1. Okay, so what happens here is that this is where we talk about base e. So we're going to actually have base e. Remember, the, the logarithm is always equal to what the power on x is going to be. So, oops, we got to fix that a little bit. I apologize. So let's start by switching x and y. How about we do that first if we're going to find the logarithm, the inverse of that logarithm? So now it's base e. So remember, the exponent has the same base as a logarithm. A natural logarithm has base e, so that's why we have e here. Okay, natural log has, this, has base e. Okay, the idea here is this. Okay, those mean the same thing. Okay, here's where that base e comes from. So the natural logarithm is equal uh, to the exponent of our exponential. So e to the x equals y plus 1. Just subtract 1 from both sides. So you have y equals e to the x minus 1. And that's our inverse. So I can go ahead and do that. And 
we are done. So that is finding the inverse of a logarithm. It's an exponential. If you have any questions or comments, everyone, type them below. We'll see you next time.